Welcome back to Intentional with Morel. Um, thank God for another week of Bible study. I hope you guys are being safe out there. But uh, let's get into the topic. Um, so, today, so today's topic is, what does the Bible say about husbands loving their wives? Um, we're going to be coming from uh, Ephesians 5, verses 21 through 33. Um, we're going to be coming out the NIV. And we're basically going to be reading about uh, Paul's giving us um, instructions um, for Christian household. But so that's where we're going to be coming from, a passage of scriptures. So let's get into it. Um, as you know, uh, I like last week we didn't have a Bible study because I was under the, the weather. But this week we're back. So uh, let's get into it. We're going to begin at verse 21 and it reads, Submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Wives, submit yourself to your own husband as you do to the Lord. For the husband is the head of the wife, as Christ is the head of the church, his body of which he is the Savior. Now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands and everything. Verse 25, husband, love your wives just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her to make her holy, cleansing her by the washing with water through the word and to present her to himself as a radiant church without stain or wrinkle or any other blemish, but holy and blameless. Verse 28, in this same way, husband ought to love their wives as their own bodies. He who loves his wife loves himself. After all, no one ever hated their own body, but they feed and care for their body, just as Christ does the church. Verse 30, for we are members of his body. For this reason, a man will leave his father and mother and be united to his wife, and the two will become one flesh. This is a profound mystery, but I am talking about Christ and the church, Paul is saying. However, each one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself, and the wife must respect her, 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 her husband. Amen. All right, so uh, let's go back to verse 21. And verse 21 says, submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. The word reverence means deep respect for someone or something. Amen. So when you're saying you have a reverence for something, so when it says submit to one another, who are we talking about? A lot of people probably understand. I'm like, I want to know that the the wife's supposed to submit. But in verse 21, it's actually saying both. It's saying submit to one another. So your spouse, you as the male and you as the female, submit to one another out of the reverence for Christ, which just means you're respecting your, your spouse. So if you're a male, you should be able to submit to your wife. Because I know you're looking at verse 22, like, well, it says why submit to yourself. But verse 21 lets you know, submit to one another out of reverence out of respect for Christ. If you're saying you as a male respect God, respect Christ, you submit to one another. It's not just, oh, she submits, you submit too. Amen. Verse 22 says, wives submit to your own husbands as you do to the Lord. So wives submit to your own husband as you do to the Lord because you're saved and you're, you're, you're prayed up and you're seeking God and, and you're like, I'm sold out for Jesus. I, I, I do everything for Jesus. And, but 
your husband asks something, you're like, you're not Jesus. And the Bible says, wives, submit yourself to your own husbands as you do to the Lord. So out of respect, if you're saying you love God so much, you should submit to your husband as you do to the Lord. Amen. Verse 23, I want to highlight, it says, for the husband is the head of the wife. I, I didn't say that. I, I just read that now. I didn't, I didn't type that in. I didn't add that scripture. It says, for the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church. His body of which he is the savior. So you, this is the order that that's given to us for a Christian household. We're not talking about a secular world home. We're talking about for a Christian household. If you're saying that you're a Christian and you're saying that you're a follower of Christ, you're saying that you guys are saved, born again believer, this is the instruction that is given to us. For the husband is the head of the wife as Christ is the head of the church. His body of which he is the Savior. Verse 24. It said, now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives should submit to their husbands and everything. Now, I was like, okay. It said everything. Didn't say, oh, in some things. And remember, we're talking about a Christian household now. We're not talking about a secular home that, you know, people might, you know, you know, you might not be saved or born again. You're not Christians. You just live in life, you know. But we're talking about a Christian home. Amen. This is the instruction for a, a Christian home. And it says, so also wives should, should submit to their husbands in everything. I said, let's read a different version just to make sure that this is what it's saying. So I looked up New King James Version on verse 24, and it said, Therefore, just as the church is subject to Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. I said, let's look up another version. So I said, let's look up King James Version. It says, Therefore, as the church is subject unto Christ, so let the wives be to their own husbands in everything. I said, well, let's just look up another version. Um, Christian Standard Bible. It's the Christian Standard Bible. So it said, now as the church submits to Christ, so also wives are to submit to their husbands in everything. And now this is being and you've got to remember in verse 21, it says, submit to one another out of reverence for Christ. Submit to one another. Both of you still should submit to one another because you both are saying that you're Christ, you're, you're uh, a believer, you're a Christian. So this is a structure for a Christian household. These are the things that you should do. So you, out of respect, you submit to one another. But why you should submit to your husbands in everything if you're saying, hey, I have a Christian home, I have a Christian husband, uh, we have a Christian family, we, we believe. That's the scripture. Now, verse 25, husbands, love your wives just as Christ loved the church. Now, if you know how much Christ loved the church, that's how much you will love your wife. Because the Bible said, husband, love your wife just as Christ loved the church and gave himself up for her. Amen. So, husband, you have to what love your wife. That don't mean you going to take advantage or somebody will say abuse, abuse your title position in the family because you feel like well i'm the husband i'm the man i it go if it don't go my way it don't go god bless you sit down 
Amen. Husband, love your wives. Amen. Verse 28 says, in this same way, husbands ought to love their wives as their own bodies. So he is that he who loves his wife loves himself. Now, this is how you know they love their own body. It said in verse 29, it said, after all, no one ever hated their own body, but they feed and care for their body just as Christ does the church. So this is how you know that this person cares for their body. Uh, it's because they're putting food in their body. They're still taking care of their body. And, and the scripture is saying, husband, you ought to love you. Your wife, just as you love your own body, the same way you're putting food there, that's the same way you should love your wife. Most of the time, as a male, they always eating. So you should always love your wife so much because you love your own body. Amen. If you're not disrespecting your body, why disrespect your wife? Amen. Don't get mad at me. Amen. Last scripture, we're going to read verse 33. It says, however, each one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself. And the wife must respect her husband. However, each one of you also must love his wife as he loves himself. If you love yourself, you should always love your wife. These are the Christian standard for a household. These are the way that you should live. If you're saying that you're a Christ follower, a believer, a born again, a Christian, this is the standard. Husband, love your wives. Wives, submit to your husband. Husband, you still submit to your wife too. Because the scripture said in verse 21, submit to one another. Out of respect for Christ. If you're saying you respect Christ, you still submit to one another. Amen. Why you should submit to their husbands in everything. If husbands ought to love their wives as they love their own body. If they don't hate their body, they shouldn't be hating their wife. Amen. I think that's all I got, you guys. God bless you. Um, see you next week on um, Bible study, um, which we'll be talking about, do thugs go to heaven? So see you next week uh, as we talk about this topic. Peace.